Okay guys, I just wanted to do this video uh, and clear up some of the myths that we hear online. And a lot of these things are stated by people that hear these things or read these things from other people on the internet and they're passed off as fact. And really, with a lot of things like this, that's just not the case. So, what do I want to talk about? Well, changing the trigger pull weight on a carry concealed gun that you use. And could that affect you if you ever have to use your gun in self-defense and you go to court? As you can see, this gun's unloaded. And the short answer to that is no. And I'm going to explain why to you. Uh, now, if you have to use your gun in self-defense and you shoot someone and if the prosecutor decides that he's got enough to make a case on and you go to court, uh, it doesn't really matter if you, ch if you put in a 3.5 pound connector in your Glock. Actually, the Glock is about 5.5 pounds, the trigger pull, and if you put in a 3.5 pound connector, it's really only going to change it by about one pound. So you're going to be around four and a half pounds, somewhere in that area on the trigger pull. So why does it not matter in court if you change the trigger pull weight on the gun? Well because when you're when you were involved in that self-defense shooting you deliberately pulled the trigger. You knowingly, willingly, and deliberately pulled the trigger. It wouldn't have mattered if that trigger weight was 15 pounds or if it was 3 pounds. Now if you were had an accidental shooting or an accidental discharge, negl negligent discharge, and someone was injured or killed with that negligent discharge, then there's a possibility that they could use the trigger pull weight against you. If you say, you know, it was an accident, I didn't mean to do it, my finger must have brushed the trigger, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, it was, I, I don't know why it happened. Then if they find out the trigger pull was lightened a little, uh, then a prosecutor could very much so use that as you being negligent in the gun going off. Uh, so if you're not using a defense of negligent discharge when you use your firearm in self-defense, then there is no reason for the trigger pull weight to matter. Now I would never want to go dangerously low with a trigger pull weight just for the fact of safety of others around you. You know, so be smart on that. We don't want to go down to a two pound pull on a Glock because just generally speaking, in the safety of carrying this gun, safety of having it around others, I wouldn't want to have a trigger pull that light. Uh, it ha would have nothing to do in a self-defense shooting situation because you deliberately and willingly pulled that trigger. So I, I, when the jury goes in and has their discussions, uh, that's not going to be a fact to consider is, oh, well, his trigger pound, his trigger poundage pull weight was one pound less than what the manufacturer suggests. So I think when he shot the man with the machete that was charging toward him, I think that we should charge him with manslaughter instead of self-defense because he lightened that trigger pull by one pound. See? See how simple that sounds? It's just common sense, guys. It's just a common sense thing. The jury is going to go by the facts of the case and, and apply the letter of law in that state to that self-defense case. Uh, you know, trigger pull weight is, isn't going to be a determining factor either way. Whether the shooting is, whether they determine it justified or not, it's not going to come down to the fact of what trigger pull weight you have in a gun. After all, you did willingly pull that trigger. And if it were a factor on considering trigger weights on carry guns, what about the hundreds of thousands of guys that carry one of these? And this probably has a 3.5 pound, very light, crisp trigger in it. Would you... Uh, if you really felt that the trigger weight 
argument was going to come up in court in a self-defense shooting, would you really want to carry this? After all, the trigger pull on this is about three pounds lighter than the Glock. Yeah, I hear, I hear all this hype guys say, the, uh, the prosecutor is going to say, you wanted to murder. You, you, you were intending to kill someone because you lowered the trigger weight on your gun. And that's just false. That's just an internet myth. Um, an urban myth. That's all that is. I'd like to see somebody show me any case that's ever happened in a court system where a guy used his gun in self-defense and it came down to the uh, trigger pull weight on his gun as being a factor in that shooting. Okay, It's going to go by the facts of the case, whether or not the shooting was justified. doesn't matter how much pressure your finger had to put on that trigger to pull it. When you knowingly pulled and deliberately pulled that trigger. So I hope this clears it up, guys, for you. And of course, carrying this is fine, perfectly legal. Um, I would have no problem carrying one of these myself. And if you do carry this for self-defense, thumbs up to you. And you don't have to worry about it being a three and a half pound trigger pull. So that's what it boils down to, guys. I hope you found this video informative. And I hoped it cleared up some of these stupid internet myths that float, float around out there on the uh, YouTube world. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, this is H4T, and I am out.